हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम इन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग मटेरियल एंड मेटलॉर्जी दिस कोर्स इज ऑफर्ड फॉर ए सी मैकेनिकल टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन पैटर्न आई एम प्रोफेसर घोड़के ए पी असिस्टम प्रोफेसर इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर यवला टूडे यू विल सी द फर्स्ट यूनिट ऑफ our subject engineering materials and metallurgy so first unit we are having crystal structure and deformation of materials so in this unit we learn what are the different crystal structures are available for materials as well as a deformation of material so the contents of our unit number 1 are as follows so first we have to see a basic concept of crystal structure so what are the basic uh, requirements or concepts are related with the crystal structure that we are going to study next what are the different types of crystal systems are available for material that we are going to study in this uh, chapter next Uh, the various types of crystal structures available for materials that we are going to study in this chapter like bcc fcc and hcp crystal system next we have to study the term like lattice parameters in that we have to study uh, what is mean by coordination number number of atoms per unit cell what is atomic packing factor what is density factor that we are going to study in this unit then we are also study uh, what is mean by miller indices that is nothing but indexing of lattices that concept also we are going to study in this unit so indexing of lattice planes and directions that is nothing but indexing of plane and indexing of direction we are going to study in this unit before starting the exact content of the our syllabus or unit number 1 we are going to study how the material is formed that is nothing but how the crystal is produced from the liquid metal so here one flow chart is provided so initially the metal present in the liquid form whenever it is heated above the melting point so whenever we are hitting the raw material above the melting point it will be present in the liquid form after that whenever that liquid metal from high temperature it will going to cool it will convert from liquid form to solid form that process is called as a solidification so once it starts converting from liquid to solid form some first solid cell is formed that first solid cell is called as a unit cell which is in the form of body centered cubic structure face centered cubic structure hexagonal close pack structure or allotropism structure okay so this is the first unit cell which is formed when solidification process is done after that there will be a crystal structure form after the combination of the different unit cell of these structures so that is called as a crystal structure in that two types of crystal structures can be formed one is a single crystal structure and second one is a poly crystal structure okay so the single crystal the products are solid state devices turbine blades are formed by a single crystal structure then poly crystal structure which are the products are paper clips bolts springs i beams aircraft fuselages these are the form by a polycrystalline materials okay where we can see the grain boundaries plastic deformation anisotropy etc next the common materials are available in the material that is nothing but a classification of material that we are going to see here so the common materials are what first is a metals the materials which are formed by the combination of different materials are metals then we are going to see polymers these are also one commonly used uh, materials then crystal is uh, also one type of material then glass is amorphous material then ceramics then graphite 
so these are the various commonly used material for various engineering applications so the common materials examples are as follows so first common materials are metals and alloy where we can have a copper nickel ferrous nickel aluminum brass etc these are comes under the metals and alloys then ceramics usually oxides nitrides carbides that is nothing but alumina zirconia these are comes under the ceramics next are the polymers which are the uh, elastomers polyethylene polyvinyl chloride polypropylene etc so these are the called as a common materials next one is a electrical materials based on the uh, properties like conductors semiconductors insulators are the electrical materials then based on the ductility uh, two types of materials are there ductile material and brittle material so metals and alloys are comes under the ductile material and brittle materials where ceramics in organic glasses silicon etc are comes under the brittle material so these are the what commonly used material which are produced by a crystal or crystalline solids so basic concept of crystal structure now so to study the properties of the metal by structure types of solid so there are two types of solid one is a crystalline solid and second one is a non crystalline solid so what do you mean by crystalline solid so the solids which are built up of a number of crystal which may be metal or non metal are called as a crystalline solids so uh, the examples are iron copper aluminum are comes under the crystalline solid so crystalline structures may be single crystal or aggregate of many crystal known as polycrystalline separated by well defined boundary means crystalline solid the solids which are made up of uh, these materials like iron copper aluminum are comes under the crystalline solid then next one is a non crystalline solid means in case of uh, crystalline solid there is a one definite arrangement of atomic structure is present such structure comes under the crystalline solid next one is a non crystalline solid where a definite arrangement is not available so such a material is called as a, or such solids are called as a non crystalline solid so non crystalline in structure amorphous material like glass wood plastic these are comes under the non crystalline solid where the structure or atomic structure is not same or not in the periodic array then materials and packing so how the material is formed so here you can observe crystalline material atoms packed in a periodic or 3d array so you can observe here uh, si2 that is nothing but quartz it is one type of crystalline solid where definite arrangement of the atom is visible so such type of materials are called as a crystalline material so atoms packed in a periodic 3d array called as a crystalline material so typical examples are metals many ceramics some polymers which are having a some definite crystalline or atomic arrangement such materials are called as a crystalline materials second one is a non crystalline material where you can observe there is a no uh, atom packed in a periodic way or 3d array such uh, materials are called as a non crystalline materials means atoms have no periodic packing occurs for complex structure rapid cooling means uh, during the method of manufacturing if rapid cooling is performed then the material form is called as a non crystalline material next crystal structure what is my crystal structure many unit cells repeat in three dimensional space is called as a crystal structure means whenever uh, unit cell is formed and whenever that unit cell is a uh, uh, present or arranged or repeated in three dimensional space such a crystal uh, such a concept is called as a crystal structure second one is a space latite infinite array of points in three dimensional space is called as a space latite so every point is located symmetrically with respect to each other that is called as a space latite so in infinite array of point in three dimensional space that is called as a space lattice then unit cell the basic structural part of in the composition of material is called as a unit cell so this is the uh, diagrammatic representation of crystal structure or unit cell so here you can observe one cubic crystal structure or unit cell is formed where 
these are the different faces of unit cell that is cubic then uh, crystal lattice angles alpha beta and gamma next lattice points the in the unit cell the corner where atoms are located are called as a lattice point so crystal a definition of crystal is nothing but a lattice plus motif or basis so typically an atom or a group of atom associated with each lattice point okay so lattice is nothing but what traditionally periodic arrangement of points or, or atom traditionally periodic arrangement of points means whenever the atoms are located in a, a definite position then such a concept is called as a lattice now what is my crystal traditionally a translate translationally periodic arrangement of motifs is called as a crystal so that is nothing but repetitive arrangement of lattice or crystal structure a repetitive arrangement of atoms is called as a crystal so for example this is a basis example of how crystal is formed so for to produce the uh, this type of crystal structure we are having this type of basis then we are having a lattice different positions so when we combine it it will form a crystal